Hi folks, Marcus here, Country Wood Smoke HQ, and today I'm doing a Tandoor style rotisserie chicken. Rotisserie chicken is a firm family favourite here at Country Wood Smoke HQ, so I'm knocking up a quick lunch of Tandoor style rotisserie chicken. Our family loves a good curry as well, so it's going to be a good match. Let's get going. So, nice free range chicken. I'm just going to slash into the thighs here a couple of times. They take longer to cook, so it gets the marinade in. There we go, just a nice couple of slashes in the top and underneath. Okay, I'm going to leave the breast as is because I want those to stay nice and juicy. So here I have about 8 tablespoons of natural yoghurt. I have a couple of teaspoons of tandoor spice. I have a teaspoon of garam masala and a couple of teaspoons of beetroot powder just for that nice colour. Stir those all in together and you'll get a nice coloured slightly pink tandoor marinade. I'm going to add some fresh lime to this, squeeze in a couple of halves of lime, there we go, and a good pinch of sea salt. Stir that all together. There we go. And that is going to be a nice fragrant tandoor marinade for this chicken. Okay, so I'm going to work this into the chicken. Work it thoroughly in. inside as well. Work it into those slashes you've made. Make sure it's all nice and covered. go. That then sits in the fridge for at least a few hours. Okay so nice few hours resting in the fridge, little sprinkle of salt just on the outside here. Take your rotisserie, and the pointed end go through the chicken like that, and secure. This end into the brass. Get roughly in the middle, then secure tight. There we go. I'm now going to use the meter, which is ideal for rotisserie cooking, and pop this deep into the thigh, up to the mark there. Make sure it's right into the thigh, in the deepest place. There we go. That is now ready to go onto the jotisserie. So pop the spit onto the jotisserie like that and turn on. 
looking for some nice hot coals here so all the vents are open and around 180 to 200 degrees C for this to cook through. The meter is going to tell me when it's cooked and we're looking for 74 degrees C internal. There we go. Shut the lid, job done. I'm letting the legs hang free so that all the skin crisps up nicely. Looking forward to this. So this chicken's looking amazing. The smell is absolutely sublime. We're getting close with 61 degrees C internal now. We're looking for 74 on the meter. So we're getting there. So probably around half an hour left, I reckon, if that. So uh, yeah, nice slow steady cook. As you can see, the outside is crisping up nicely. It's juicy, there's so much juice in there. Look at that, it's incredible. So uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Not far off, I'm gonna go and cook some rice. Okay, so the meter is saying 73 degrees C, removed from heat. So let's have a look, see how it looks. Oh wow. Boy, does that look good. Look at the colour on that. It's crispy skin. Feels nice and juicy under there. Lovely colour. Happy with that. Gonna turn this off. And take it off. There we go. That looks stunning. Gonna give it a rest for um, probably 20 minutes or so just while the rice cooks with a little hat of tin foil on top just to keep the heat in. But stop it overcooking. There we go. Happy with that. Okay, so this is smelling amazing, amazing. It looks pretty good as well. Happy with this. Just get it off the rotisserie. That's done its job. Okay. Remove the meter, that's done its job too. Great bit of kit, loving that for rotisserie. And the moment of truth, I'm gonna have one of me, these drumsticks. Wow, chicken looks well cooked, super juicy. Smell is amazing. Oh yeah, hmm. Nice crispy skim, juicy flavourful meat, that marinade has worked its treat, mm, that's some tasty chicken that is, really happy with that, really really good bit of chicken. So uh, yeah, you know what to do, that box down there, subscribe, let me know you like my videos, it's all appreciated. I've got some rice ready for this. I'm going to get stuck in. Cheers. <laughs>